Right. The weather's changed. <laughs> so this is why I put the service pitch, because I thought that way we're sure we've got a hard standing in case we have any rain. Yeah, they're all hard standing here though, aren't they? No, no? in the middle there's all grass. Oh, yeah, there's a few people using it. Probably would have been all right. Yeah, it's I'm just, sure it would have uh, been all right. It's been quite heavy rain, isn't it, this yeah. morning? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to ease off about 10 o'clock, so we're um, <coughs> it's about quarter past nine. So we're, we're going to have a little trip around. We're going to go to. It's a man with an umbrella, Cara. <laughs> it's a rather big umbrella. <laughs> we're going to have a trip to um, Bomaris, but I think we're just going to go down to Red Wharf Bay and have a look there first, see what there is. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do, yeah. Does it seem so like a plan? does, yeah, yeah. Okay. We should know where we are, because I think that's where we ended up driving around yesterday, so yeah. we'll probably recognise it. Yeah. Now, we um, we debated whether we are going to bring the car um, this week, because we weren't too sure. Some days we're going to need it, and other days it'll be a bit of a pain, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, we brought it in the end because I think on balance we needed it but one thing was nearly stopped us bringing it was we had an engine management light come on um, if I show you that can you and um, and it's something we and it's something we had when we were at York came on you probably can't we can't see, see that. that it's a little engine symbol where are we going here left left And uh, so we called the AA out again, as we did at York, and he turned up and plugged his laptop in there and said, oh yeah, it's the same fault. It's uh, what's called a G39 sensor, and it's something to do with the oxygen sensor, and it's an intermittent fault. So he's left the, the engine, the, the fault on, as it were, you can reset the fault, because as, as soon as I take it into the dealers, they're going to say, oh, there's no fault. So I'm going to have to say, look, it's come on a couple of times. Can you change the oxygen sensor and we'll see if that fixes it. So it's not going in, is it, till we get back? But we, we couldn't book an appointment until no. when we get back in June. No. But he said it would be all right to drive. So, and it feels fine. It doesn't, there's nothing unusual about the way the car drives. Tara's making a bed in the back here, if you can hear that. Or a hole in the seat. A right hole in the seat, yeah. There's a tractor going. A tractor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Inevitable tractor. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if he's going to get. Oh, there's a little bit there, isn't there? Mm. So that is really when you're really glad you bought a little car, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, the sea is a bit choppy, isn't it? Here. No parking, camping, fires, litter. litter. Well, that's pretty much everything. Yeah, you probably would be all right. You'd be all right parking here in the van, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's just getting down that road. Yeah. It's probably all right as long as you don't need the tractor. Yeah. So that's the ship in. Let's just have a look at. That old car there. Yeah, no, I was just looking at it. Just have a little look. A look at. Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a replica. <laughs> well, I've got the ship in down here. This is probably really nice on a, yeah, <laughs> a good day. Yeah, it would have been lovely yesterday. Yeah. Plenty of parking. Yeah, those are parking. See if it's open for later. Yeah. Not catch of the day. I need to service well, times. Monday. Monday to Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Friday to Saturday, 12 to 4. 12, 12 to 4, Friday to Saturday. It's Friday today, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah. Well, 12 to 4, I'm going to try that. Yeah, it's quite a nice vista. I don't know it's dog friendly. I didn't see it, didn't notice actually. 
Have a look. Yeah, and it looks like there's a little walk going up the hill there. Yeah. We'll sit outside. But the weather's supposed to be getting better, isn't it, it this is afternoon? So, yeah, so maybe it'll we'll come back better, yeah. later. But yeah. Tomorrow. Right, we're we're gonna go to someone suggested on one of the comments on the video, and I'm sorry I can't remember who it was that commented about having a look at a place called Penmon, which is also on the coast. So we've just plotted a route. Where are we going up here? Up there. Oh, grief. We'll meet Mr. <laughs> Tractor coming back. Whoa. And uh, yeah, so we're going to head towards Penmon. We've just noticed and we've plotted a route on the sat nav. It goes by Beaumaris. So we'll take in Beaumaris on the way. Seems logical. Yeah, OK. We're going to get a, a little drive around the coast then. Yep. towards Pentrath? Yeah. to Bone Maris. There's a sign there, it says castle. Oh yeah. It's handy, isn't it? Oh, he's, he's had to stop there for this van. And another truck. And a reef, eh? You're going to get through there. Sighting this bit. <laughs> Wing mirrors need touch then. I think you'll find that's the castle. Where? In front. Oh, I can't see it, so <laughs> blooming misty today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just all grey walls. Where do we go then? I think there's a car park around the corner. Going oh, back on my yeah, memory. back of our memory. There's a grassy bit round the corner where we could park the van, isn't there, if I seem to remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think we came here in the Starfire, didn't we, all those years ago. There's a P for coaches there. Yeah. Yes, it's a, it's a big car park. Yeah. Now, yeah. probably should have gone that way. Do you think we should? In 200 yards, turn right, then turn right. <laughs> No, I'm going to go in the car stopping. park. Yeah. <laughs> we saw the sign that said coaches and we thought, oh, we can't go down there. But we should have gone down there. Well, should, so we, we turned around. Yeah. And we come back. Oh, 
all day parking for bad. Right, this is probably going to be the wettest castle walk in history. No. Sorry? No. No? <laughs> sure, sure we've got wet, so. Remember Tara's coat? We've got poppies. Yeah, poppies is in the van. Yeah. And that's the problem with bringing a car and not the, not the motor, isn't it? Yeah. You're bound to forget something. This hood is too big for my head. The hood's too big for your head? Yeah. <laughs> Looks alright to me. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> this feels huge. I saw that. I'm sure we went in there before that way. Yeah, I think we did. It's all locked up that way. I was going to say, I think we've done a classic there. Oh, nice little street there. Sorry? Yeah, it's path, yeah. It's a bit narrow. There we go. Here's the entrance. We've got a little square here. Castle Court Hotel. We're going over here somewhere. Sorry? I said, how do we get in? Over there. Over there. Thought we were out of luck then. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna they're gonna be absolutely inundated with tourists today. <laughs> no, we're not in a queue, are we exactly? No. Yeah, it's raining. I'll read the en the entrance sign whilst we're waiting. So it's open March to June, which were we eleven, nine thirty to five o'clock. Oh, it's a little bit later, later in the year. And it members are free. Adults seven thirty. Seniors over sixty five. Five pound eighty. Now seniors are over sixty five here. Armed forces and veterans four pound forty. Yeah. We should get free, shouldn't we, with our with the charity cards? Yeah. yeah, we've got we've got these. That gets us in free. And we've got the uh, like, senior rate, like haven't Ka we? Kadu um, sites. That sums it up really, the Grace's Castle never built. Never built, yeah. Yeah, because we started it in 1295. Yeah. And most of this was built in just five years. Yeah. It's quite incredible, wasn't it? But uh, the, it cost, uh, yeah, 1450 pounds, which is about Six, six million, six and a half a million, million pounds today. Yeah, in today's yeah. money. Yeah. It wasn't finished because uh, Edward the first turned his attention to Scotland. Well, they started beating up the Scots then, didn't they? Yeah. Got fed yeah. up beating up the Welsh. Is, it's a World Heritage Site. Along yeah. With Carnarvon, Conway, Conway and Harlech. Yeah. We can't get into Carnarvon Castle. Or Conway. The, or the Conway, because because the, the dogs. But we will be going to Harlech Castle, I think, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's have a little wander around then. Yeah, so it's got like a well, moat that doesn't go all the way around. I suppose one day, once it did, it's probably been filled in by the uh, road now. Just starting to rain again. Oh, that's quite an impressive entrance, isn't it? Around the round here. Yeah. We've got there later. Do you remember this thing? Yes, yeah, I do. I'm coming in here. It's sort of like half, but it should be, isn't it? Yeah. It's got there's an inner castle as well, isn't there? I was going to get a guidebook. I was afraid the guidebook was going to get you completely get wet. wet yeah. So uh, I'll get one on the way back. Well, I'll read you a bit of history then. Yeah, it certainly was making an entrance, is not it? So, uh, got heavy doors, murder slots, po portcullis, portcullises, and arrow loops. And 
It's a massive double drawbar hole for solid, solid doors. And they never finish the gate out. Yeah, Here. A slot, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well. So you have to get through the front one, and yeah. across the moat, yeah. get through the front one, then, then into here. Then get into here. And be murder holes and people chucking things down at you. And and there's another slot here. Another, another gate, another gate here. Wow. And then it, presumably there'll be another one here if you got through that lot. And there's the inner castle there. But look at this. Just a bit. Wow. Is that over there or is that? I've no idea. We'll have a look in a minute. The builder. The builder. I'm going to have to have a look now, won't I? Yeah. So this chap here was the master mason. Yeah, James of St George. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, he got involved in a lot of his castles. Yeah. Clever, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, you can see, look at the uh, arches up there. All seem to be sort of cushions. Yeah. Not quite why there's a load of cushions there. Eh? Well, shall we see if we can arrange them in the right <laughs> yeah. order? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good, <laughs> good a film, wouldn't challenge, it? That, huh? Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> right, so this is the inner ward. It started in 1295, the building. And there were 2,000 workers here. And they were planning the walls to be even higher than they were at the moment, double double the double height. This. Well it looks like it's all yeah. done, doesn't it? Yeah. Two and a half months after the building started, rapid progress had been made on the building, but just months later the Royal Treasurer received a letter from the Clerk of Works that funds were running out and wages were not being paid. Oh dear. Yeah, so imagine this with walls twice as high. Yeah, very impressive. Would have been a bit gloomy in here. So the walls were twice this height and imagine them up there. Yeah. Let's go over there then. What a place. So all the little huts would have been in here then when they were working on it. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand workers, imagine that. Two thousand disgruntled, unpaid workers. Well, yeah, Imagine no, that. Girls, come here. So wait. Right, so what you've got is you can walk around the walls. Come on girls, come on. You get an even better view of the walls. About out of breath now, it's quite a climb that. Yeah. This is the land side of it. <laughs> This is one impressive castle that's not forgotten. Um, I think it's some years since we've come. Yeah, it must have been about 2004 or 5. No, I think it's 30 years. Was it? I thought we came in the, in the first motorhome. Yeah, but we didn't go in. Because we didn't, didn't allow dogs. Ah, oh, right, okay. We they did. in the car. Yeah. Years before that. Well, you've got. I mean, it's a horrible day for views. I might see if I can zoom that up, but you've got the mountains in the background. Snowdonia in the background. Yeah. Oh, a noisy thing, aren't you? 
Ah, what a noise. They're probably waiting to be fed by someone, aren't they? Wow, what a view. Again, you, you probably can't see this, but you know, I'll have to get me a phone out to take a picture. Yeah, so what the board says here is that Beaumaris was built on flat, marshy ground, so there were no constraints about the design of it. So it really is like a castle fortress, yeah. which meant with sumptuous rooms and everything. So I'm saying how many loos there were here. How many loos were there? I'm just trying to read it now. It said behind it was 16 toilets. Obviously, they have a lot of staff and you know, and guests and everything. So, 16 loos. It said, but by 1306, all the loos and drains were blocked. Oh. So. It <laughs> <laughs> not a lot for six, two thousand people, is it? No. No, I suppose not. But the fact that it had toilets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't suffer from vertigo. vertigo. But look at that. Good grief. Right, we're going to go down there. Halfway down the So we're halfway wall, down the stairs, and there's uh, like a I inner walls, and a walkway through the inner walls. Oh, well, we'd be good at this, wouldn't we? Yeah. That's how they do the spiral steps. Right, so we need another step, don't we? Hang on, girls. Right. <laughs> It'd be boring to do another one, wouldn't it? Yeah, so these are keystones. Yeah. Okay. That's the where they start, but that's a key, keystone there, isn't it? So it's like yeah. a wedge-shaped stone oh. that holds the arch together because all the forces go against that. Oh. It doesn't really explain it there, does it? No. So the frame underneath holds the side stones in place and re so you're ready to position the keystone in the middle. I can't give us any blocks there. <laughs> so we can't do that one, then? can't do that one. No. That's how they, they get a piece of... Stone, yeah. wouldn't they? And they'd be Chip chipping away, away at yeah. it. You have to have a beard. Do you? Alright. Yeah. Okay. So it counts me out. So I'd be over there. Yeah, doing with, with a log dress on. Yeah, doing the cooking and stuff. Carrying things. Yeah. Probably be chasing the geese. Yeah. Well, that would be quite a good exhibition if you were. Uh, <laughs> Keystones there. So all we can show is how to do a spiral staircase. This is something here. So they put uh, holes in there, didn't they? So these yeah. holes here were for the scaffolding. Right, don't get that close. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> you never see it. <laughs> yeah, so they. Alright. So that's your scaffolding, so you'd have things flat. Planks around there while she built the wall, wall up. up. Yeah. So we had that computer thing ages ago on the PC, which would build a castle. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. So if you look around the castle, you'll often see mud holes in the wall. Yeah. Not here. No. Hang on, girls. Hang on. For some reason, this is called Rusty Coker Tower. Not Rusty Cocker Tower. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't that. say that. There's loads of little rooms everywhere. Little, little that's a toilet. Definitely a toilet. Is this the toilet block then? Yeah, well, it must be. Yeah. One of the 16. Yeah, because there's like a grate over. And that must have been out 
outside. There's the hall, isn't it? Presumably. Yeah. Fortunately, it all ends in a dead end. <laughs> Yeah. Go on then, guys. I think we're getting a bit lost already. <laughs> Some more rooms up here. Incredible. Incredible place. Oh, oh wow. Look at this. The chapel. Would, would have looked, have whitewashed everything, would they? Yeah. Yeah, quite incredible. Yeah, it gives us an idea of how beautiful the interiors would have been. All whitewashed, brightly coloured, all paintings, coloured glass. Stained glass windows. Would have been something else. Yeah. Manuscripts of 1624, swan feathers. So it tells you all about each of the, the panels. Which was windows 11 and 3. Yeah, so it's window 4 and tells you where all the designs have come from. So this is another area you can sit in, yeah. isn't that? And I suppose. Well, there's a window there, looking down on the chapel. Yeah. yeah well, nice view out there. So, you would imagine again all these walls whitewashed and everything with a huge fire roaring in there. Yeah. Quite a place. I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, but this, this is just so much to see. I think she knows that. You're just doing your bit on the wall, aren't you, Pops? Go on, have a look up there. That's on the walls. Oh, above the moat. Go on. Oh. Cobbles are a bit uneven. The gunner's walk. But yeah. That is truly magnificent. One of the best castles I've seen, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's it for now. We're going to find somewhere to eat for lunch, I think. I think we are, yeah. Yeah, we're getting hungry. Yeah. So we'll catch up with you later. I filmed so much today, I had to split it into two videos. I said I was going to do some shout outs in this video, so here they are. First of all, Mark Powell for telling us about Penmon, Mike Jarvis for telling us about Red Wharf Bay, Stephen Brathwaite in Cornwall, and David Kenworthy in Australia.